Hey everyone, it's Chris DeClerc with Delta Plastics and Pipe Planner. The new version of Pipe Planner is out and we want to put together a few instructional videos just to help you along the way. The very first being how to navigate just through a furrow irrigated field and some of the new features that go along with it. So this is my My Farms page or what we like to call the home page now. If I want to go search for my farm that I'm working on, I'm going to search up Hunter Farms here and as you can see I've got a lot of fields that are already here. If I want to add a new field, I click Add Field. I'm going to come out to the aerial image where Pipe Planner is going to ask you how you would like to name the field, a general soil type for that field we're going to, and then whether or not it's a furrow or a levee irrigated field. A little bit different this year. Let's go down the furrow irrigated path. Click that button. Let's select this field. From here, you automatically go into drawing mode. There's not a button that you press to tell Pipe Planner that you're about to draw a field. You've selected furrow, it automatically knows that you're about to start drawing the field. So you do just that. Start drawing the field, circle the boundary with this um, stylus and these little dots. Connect the dots till you get to the end. Simply click and you're done. It shows the field name, the acreage. Click set furrow direction over in the right hand side. Now, you'll see the furrow direction arrow populate. It automatically goes in a default direction. You give it another direction just by simply clicking in the field. So if I want these furrows to run to the west, I would need to click to the west like so. You can move it around to determine what boundary you want to be uh, parallel with. I'm going to pick this as my planted side. So this is the boundary that my field's going to be um, uh, parallel with. Now. I can use a snap feature or I can snap that and then I can draw it kind of, um, you know, manually around the field. I'm going to use the snap feature this time to follow that furrow direction. Click add water source to stop the furrow direction. And then you're going to see this little blue water drop would appear. That's just that. It's your water source. There's the well. Let's click where it is. It now says or let, lets you enter the water source name. I'm just going to keep it as field 16 just to reflect the field. You can have multiple flow rates for a field. It's asking for a flow rate number one. I'll click this and I'll enter the correct measured flow rate from the field, which was 1550 is what I collected. And I click save all and I'm good. If I want to add a different flow rate for that water source for whatever particular reason, you can click here and continue to add as many flow rates as you need. Okay? If I click Save All, that flow rate is now accepted and what we now come into kind of the watering calculator. This is the part of Pipe Planner that tells you um, how long the field will be watered and then if you should or shouldn't break that field up into sets. Now you determine this all on your own. We know from extension results and uh, um, extension measuring and trials that we're looking for an 18 to 24 hour set not to exceed 36 hours out on the field. So this is 24 hours here at set. It tells us based on a 1550 gallon a minute flow rate for the size of the field at 38 inches punching every furrow, not alternating furrows, that this field is going to take about 52 hours. That's obviously over that 24 hour time frame, correct? So yes, I would like to use sets. When you click yes, it automatically tells you how to break that field up into sets and where those field sets will be. Now we've got sets set are roughly 20 acres a piece. Uh, you have three sets, and now here will be your new watering time. So it calculates that all for you, and I'm going to show you how to manually adjust that if you're only wanting to use, let's say, two sets. So simply click Update Sets. As you can see here now, a little bit differently, Pipe Planner, this new version, will break this field up into three sets now for you, and you can kind of drag those around. This is a real cool new feature that we have to make things larger and smaller if possible if you want to do that. So let's just say you don't want three sets or you're used to watering this field in just two sets. Simply drag this off the field and you're done with it. Drag this into the middle of the field and now you have two sets that are actually roughly right in that time frame that you want. So this one down here is a little bit longer. You can see how I can move that and make them about even. Let's say about right there. Got it. That's a good looking field with two sets. 
You see some parameters over here. You can get back into the set calculator. You could add another set manually if you wanted to. You could erase the sets if you wanted to. Just make sure that you click on one of these buttons to perform that function. When you're finished, click the finish button over here. As you can see now, things kind of change a little bit. Let's add pipe. Click that button. Come over here and click on the water source. Let that water source snap to the end of the field. Just like so, click. Now, what's cool about this, you can drag this all the way down until it snaps to the very end. Double click. You can then click on that end, and you can determine how you want to end that pipe. It's going to either going to be an open end or a tied off end, right? Let's tie it off. Click Save. Come over here and make sure you click save. If you see that this field is blue, highlighted blue, that means you've got a design ready to view. But first, let's go ahead and do this second set. Click on the field set. Come down to add pipe. Click on the water source. Now, as you can see, this water source is going to kind of snap to the edge of that first set. You can simply take that off. Let's come over here and click snap to click it off. Now you can kind of draw your, you know, your supply pipe a little bit more manually without it interfering with that first set. So let's enter right here. Let's maybe turn the snap feature back on to get back in that mode where we want for the second set. Bring it all the way down. Double click again. Click the end. Let's tie off the pipe. Click save. Let's save these two sets. All right, so we're going to assume that both of these pads are flat, just so I can show you the design in this quick video, okay? So here we've got a design, here we've got a design here. If we click now, hold designs on the top of the page, Pipe Planner will now show you the designs for that entire field, which is both sets, okay? So here we go, we've got a set or design for this field, and we've got a design down here for this field. That's how you properly perform a furrow irrigated field with two sets within a new version of Pipe Planner. Stay tuned for more videos.